In his first public comment since news broke that he had been defrauded of millions of U.S. dollars from his account at local investment house Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL, the world's fastest man Usain Bolt struck a resilient tone. Interestingly, the eight-time Olympic champion says he has drawn on the mental toughness he learned throughout his illustrious career to help him navigate the stresses of his current plight. For me, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, but... Um I think through the years of competing, that helped me to understand and just focus on, focus on what's the matter. I leave the matter in my lawyer's hand, you understand? I'm just trying to focus on my family and try not to think too much about it because it's a stressful situation. Hello, JPU family. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. Guys, I have to tell you, Usain Bolt handled this situation so well. It's unbelievable. Most people to have lost 13 million US dollars would have caused them an enormous amount of stress. Probably would affect the way they function. You know, we don't know what's happening behind closed doors, obviously. But there was nothing in the public to tell us that Usain Bolt had lost his mind over losing so much money all at once. That said, we have the good news. Usain Bolt is about to get his money back. It was reported a week ago that nearly two years after approximately $13 million had disappeared from his accounts at Jamaica's now disgraced Stocks and Securities Limited, SSL, former global track and field icon Usain Bolt and other defrauded investors are set to be repaid most of their invested funds. SSL announced that they have plans to repay robbed investors two years after coming within inches of collapsing, after several employees had raided the accounts of people like Bolt, the sprinter who still holds the world record for the men's 100 meter at 9.58 seconds and the 200 meters at 19.19, had been alerted to an empty account by an ex-SSL employee, triggering a massive investigation, some dismissals, and a police probe into the operations of the securities agency. The agency in a release stated that plans are at an advanced stage to pay out more than $30 million dollars to more than 200 clients who had been awaiting patiently for more than a year since the scandal broke in late 2022. The state regulator, the Financial Services Commission, FSC, has ordered the SSL to begin the payout soon. Quote, the commission assures all stakeholders that it is dedicated to maintaining transparency and accountability throughout this process and will provide further updates as necessary, said the executive director, Kiran Burrell. Quote, the FSC remains resolute in its mission to facilitate the fair treatment of SSL investors. This vigilant oversight is crucial to ensuring that SSL meets its obligations to clients in a timely and transparent manner, in alignment with the legal and regulatory framework established by the Securities Act, the Commission assures all stakeholders that it is dedicated to maintaining transparency and accountability throughout this process and will provide further updates as necessary. The two bodies stated they had raised money for the payout by selling a portion of their international securities client portfolio, which raised $30 million. That's about all heap of billions of Jamaican dollars, guys. The payout comes as SSL is undergoing a court-monitored winding-up process under the control of a legal trustee. So far, police have charged only one person 
with fraud. She is former SSL client relationship manager Jean Ann Panton, who is facing a 21 count indictment from for forgery, larceny as a servant, and related charges. So, of the 30 million US dollars, Usain Bolt is going to get back his 13 million, and the rest of the people, them 199 other people who had invested money at SSL, the rest of the money will go to them. Now, guys, this is good news for Usain Bolt. What a disgraceful event. We all recall that moment in 2022 when we were shook by news that Usain Bolt had lost up to 10 million US dollars at SSL. That shocked everyone. I mean, we were all angry. This is our, our icon, our legend, our sprint legend. How could they, you know? And so the rumor mill started spinning. Of course, you had those in the opposition saying, Andrew Wallness, Andrew Wallness did it. Andrew Wallness and his finance minister did it. And of course, we know that's not true. Where the FSC is concerned, I've said on this channel many a times that Jamaica has a problem with regulations. The bodies that are put together to regulate things in Jamaica, they do such a poor job that it's when things like this happens, a lot of people even remember that we have regulations in Jamaica. They're not enforced. The FSC had flagged SSL multiple times over the years and over the decades, over several administrations for their violation in terms of business conduct, financial conduct. And with all those red flags that they received from the FSC, they never went out of business. They kept functioning until it took something major and embarrassing like this to happen before SSL was addressed and held accountable for what happened at their financial institution. I hope that other financial institutions will take heed and I hope that the FSC, which is the regulator, the state regulator, of these financial institutions that they are looking not just at SSL but all financial institutions to make sure that they are complying with the regulations. That way this doesn't happen to anybody else. For people to have felt so comfortable. So far, you heard it, they've only charged one person, one woman. And we know she wasn't the only one who wiped out so much money, yeah? So I am hoping that this does not happen to any other Jamaican. This was a brazen act of fraud and theft against all the victims of SSL. I don't think SSL should ever be able to operate in Jamaica anymore. I think they should have their license pulled. I think they should pay these people shut their doors and be history because what was allowed all this time although like i just said it's not just the fault of ssl but the fsc as well but they must be made an example of and anybody who are working in these institutions who are stealing from the customers they must pay dearly and made an example of I'm glad that Usain Bolt got his money back. It took, what, two years? Yeah, two years. That's a long time. But nonetheless, we're happy that it did not take longer and that he finally got his money back. Anyway, guys, spread this good news. We're happy for Bolt. Make sure you're keeping it locked here to Jamaica Politics Uncovered. Make sure that you are subscribed. You're tuning into our live broadcast. And you're inviting your friends to come over here. Come hang out with us. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Eight-time Olympic champion Usain Bolt says he is just as confused as most people regarding the multi-million dollar fraud case involving his account at local investment house Stocks and Securities Limited SSL. 
But the world's fastest man left no doubts.